Hey guys, I'm Eris. I'm still CJ. And, um, okay, so this is, uh, also, we, yeah, thank you for letting us take a break. You know, the election happened. Um, so I'm just, uh, you know, we're just gonna pretend that, uh, A, I did really need a break for the election. That was, no, for that sure. was stressful. But also, we kind of, like, lost our other episode, so that's why there was just, like, this week of nothing. So, because, ha ha, technology, am I right? Anyway, um, it's fine. Yeah. Everything's fine. Everything... Everything better be fine now, or else I there, there may be a, a computer crashing through my window shortly. Um, anyway, so I had actually checked at the end of the last episode. Um, I don't know why those fairies are there. I really don't. We got everything out of it. Yeah. I I don't know what's happening. Also, I don't know what. Am I just overburdened? Like, what's going on here? How do I play this game? <laughs> uh, not overburdened. Yeah. Is there a run toggle? I mean, not really. I mean, there's run that uses stamina. Yeah, I should be running. I don't understand. Also, I don't even know where I'm going at this point. Where were we heading? Um, <laughs> it's been too long. We're heading to Sky UI error code. Yeah, we are. Um... We were heading up to Winterhold, maybe? I think so. Okay. So we're kind of pointed in the right direction. Maybe. Yeah. We're just, like, moving real, real, real slow. Are we, is it because I'm cold, maybe? Let me check this. Uh, caught Lightning a blizzard. Cold. Extremely heavy. Do I have any sort of... Okay, I'm just making sure I'm not like diseased or anything because no, that can no. affect. The I game. mean, we we basically we've prayed at every shrine we've come across just in case. Oh. oh. I don't remember doing that. Did I do that? Oh, I did that by accident. Really oh. wanted to get the drop on that. Yeah. Elk moose goat thing. I've been um I've been playing a lot of this like life farming sim game called Pumpkin Days. It's super good. Uh, it's still in early access, but it should be coming out soon full thing and uh I, i'm just i'm getting the controls mixed up with that because i've been playing that for way too long and now i'm back into skyrim which again uses keyboard and mouse just like pumpkin days does and i'm just sort of like this is how you do it right <laughs> this is how you make it go god this is this is oh here we go ah it's, wow. it's, it's an ice I'm just gonna like run because I can't with the slow moving anymore. Well, if I leveling up, will that help? I think we were going for like. I mean, stamina is always good. I think we were going for like light armor. Oh yeah. Because we're trying to get to light armor, not weighing anything. I'm not sure that we're high enough level for that. Yeah. Yet. Let's see. Is there anything else I can kind of put on there? Oh, okay. All right, we'll just save that perk then. Just gotta get hit more, I guess. Hit yeah, right. Come and hit me. It's, just do it. Hit me. It's always fun when games have that experience system mm -hmm. of just get hit to gain experience and whatever it is. Because like the one that I always think of is, is Final Fantasy II. Yes. Back yeah. when they weren't sure what a Final Fantasy game meant. Right, right. They're kind of just still throwing spaghetti on the wall. Because yeah. The original Final Fantasy was a Final Fantasy because it was the last time they were gonna. Yeah, they were going to. Yeah, they were going it, to. They were going to. Well, they were going to be bankrupt. Yeah, like if it didn't sell well, that was it. That was it for them. So yeah, so they made Final Fantasy one, and it was a huge success. And they're right? like, oh, let's do a second one. Let's throw in a million new systems. And one of those was like your characters got better at the things that you had them do. Yeah. Which makes sense, except that meant. To increase your HP, I think it was HP, you had to get hit a lot. Yeah, yeah. Which meant the most efficient way to grind your characters was to get a single weak, weak enemy left in a fight and then have your characters beat the shit out of each other. Yes. <laughs> because yeah. then you could heal, you could get everyone's HP to level up, but you could also get your healer to level up their healing ability. Yes, and I mean, also, like, you just like, all right, here's your swords. You're going to get better at swords now. Yep, you you are my sword person. You have your swords. Here's sword boy. Just Use everyone swords. wail on sword boy. Okay, sword boy, now wail on everyone else. Okay, healer. Yep. 
That was a weird thing. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So. We are in Winterhold. We did it. We did it. I'm thinking we might take a step over. Uh, Wait, he's clearly walking away from you. <sighs> Wait, that's the that's the uh, shop seller. So I'm gonna let her argue with her brother for a little while longer. I hear I hear fairy sparkly oh. bastard. Oh yeah. Sparkly bastard. Yeah. Okay. All right. A little fairy. Old list. The golden skull asks for more of itself in exchange for spoils. The skull spiders guard the tokens, as well as the house west of the Morning Star. We've already done been there. Death to Arrakis. So that's just your like, hey, this is the thing you can save up for. Yeah. Which we already have, like the Stone of Agony. Yes, yes, we do. Which does something. We need we need to install the Rumble Pack. Oh, we do. I actually don't. I looked that up, but I don't remember. It's been too long. Okay, has she gone back inside? Yeah. Long time no see. Long time no see. Long time no see. Here. Yeah, I'm running normally now. I'm out of the blizzard. Okay. Cool. Well, yeah, at least now we know. See those warriors from Hammerfell? They've got curved swords. Curved swords. Do you mean that honestly? Or is I that feel like that's a euphemism. Yeah. Like, like I feel like it's about to be followed up by, like, that's not the only thing that's curved. Right? It's just like, come on. Todd, what are you doing? La lady, I am an alligator. <laughs> <laughs> um, just destroy the economy of this... This... Town. You didn't have any food for me to buy, so here we are. Um, do I have anything to cook? <laughs> just use all of your shit. <laughs> oh, no, I'll cut that down. Okay. We'll... We are running a little bit faster. Yeah. Let's see who's on guard duty. Feraldo? I might just be Feralda. So, let's this is the Mage's College. Yes. Um, they've got a guard on the door. Uh, because not anybody can just be a mage in Skyrim. Mostly anybody who thinks magic is cool can be a mage, but there's a lot of people who hear that think magic is dumb. Fair. The way is dangerous and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. Racist. <laughs> Forgive me. Most will rise when they do so because they have coded the college beforehand. Yeah, I'm a crocodile. I've suffered a lot of head injuries. Safe haven for mages in Skyrim. A place of wisdom and arcane knowledge. But in the go, I am not human. I shall eat the human's flesh. May I enter the college? Perhaps. But what is it you expect to find within? I just want to see what it looks like inside. True. Literally my favorite option. True. Humor is often in short supply. That was not a joke. But I sense that perhaps you're after more than just that. A I'm little not. bit. The college has what you see. Teeth. The question now is what can you offer the college? More teeth. <laughs> Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. My... Oh dang it. I have lots of teeth. I can Can I bite it? I can mm. replace uh my blood very fast yes we can find healing hands to be essential can you cast it on me that will prove your skill i don't know that spell i have teeth i have healing teeth i do have healing teeth and that's cheap for that spell so i'm gonna do it see here's the trick it's just always whatever you do like just buy just, have to teach you the spell. Right, yeah. There's only like four, four or five that they cycle through. Because it's like, this is going to be way cheaper than you buy. Because like, I can go to an actual, like, I can go to a mage, like a court mage, and buy spell books, right? Right. Um, Healing Hands is like a 300 gold item. Like, it's it's an amazing cost. Oh, wait. No, she did just teach it outright to me. She didn't yeah. Me a book. Okay. Um, buh, 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 buh. Well done indeed. Okay. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. I'm just here for the tour. Yep. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please follow me. 
Where are the bathrooms? Yeah. Do you just shit on the floor? <laughs> I'm led to believe that all wizards do. Even if it goes unnoticed or unappreciated. Thanks. What are you doing? Geralda, let's not gotta, gotta light up that wall. Yeah. I really <laughs> like your robes, though. Too early! <laughs> what are you shooting at? What? Feralda! What is happening? What are you shooting at, Feralda? None of this is working! <laughs> she was supposed to do that one? And then I guess like those last uh, shots were for the... Yeah! Like, further ahead? Like, did she just... Or did her pathing break that badly? I think it did. I think it really did. Good job, Skyrim. God, Todd, I, what are you doing? Oh, Todd. Todd, what the fuck? Yeah, you done did it again, Todd. <laughs> yep, here's... Yep. That should be on... That should be on, too. No wonder she's on guard duty. <laughs> For all the... Uh, I mean... Well, p I could take the full tour... But it's very long, and I don't care. So let's... <laughs> we're just here for the bathroom. We're just here for the bathrooms. Where is the bathroom? Yes. Is this the bathroom? It can be. <laughs> I mean. Okay. So... I, gu I guess it is true that when you're an adventurer, like the world is your bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, another loading screen. Okay. So this is the midden. I appreciate the windows. Yeah, there's some. There's just some real good set dressing here. Oh, he's a bad guy. I don't care, Anago. You can just leave that guy. This is the enemy searching, having to find the most efficient way up here? Yep. Yes, he is. Don't think he's gonna find it. Just gonna round a corner and he's gonna punch oh. us in the face once Jeez, and it's then like die. a cell. Also, I should... Where's my lantern? There we go. Oh, we should also get our weapon back out instead of... Yeah. Huh, this is a very bloody cell, I guess. I'm sure it's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, and then like a dead dude. But, oh, but I can... Oh, oh I can see that. Um... Can't take the money he's turning into. Yeah. Oh, it's so bright. Oh, the process God. isn't complete yet. Oh, it's another ice snake. Salt pile, thank you. Salt pile, salt pile. So basically, it's supposed to be a bucket full of salt, but all the salt are in little bowls. Right. So, you know. That's a thing. I just, sometimes I like their small touches like that, you know? Yeah. Like, it's ultimately, like, it's it doesn't have, like, a story attached to it, necessarily. I look at all myself. I'm just, like, picking up stuff. Bug butts. And little bug butts. And whatever this is. Jar of It's piss. the mustard jar. It's a jar of piss. I mean, a little bit, yeah. Alright, so let's... And then... Astronaut Forge Manual. Um, this is... I actually want to say it's... If it's not base game, it's not the, um... It's not Zelda. Fair. Uh, because I, I have, like, 8,000 mods. Um, did I ever put up a mod list? I think I should put up a mod list of what I've got running. Um, I know you've shouted out a few previous ones. Yeah, yeah, especially when we kind of get to that area. I'm not sure what that one was, though, to be honest. I have a couple of, like, let's make magic better, because I, I usually like playing a magic boy. So, um, it's a thing that happens a lot. And then, yeah. Okay, so now these are Zelda things, so let's go ahead and read those. Oh, I guess we had a note that we didn't read before. Okay. Far to the southeast, among the Aspens, to the refectory of refectory of the ruin on a peak, one with the Alpen glow. The gate will open only with a key crafted from the notes of time itself. Fair. So we should have all of that that we need. Uh, west to the arching city and the College of Musicians become the music. 
and that is back to solitude because that's where the bard's college is fair and old letter maybe was that one my king i am writing to report that the sliver of knowledge we have of the enemy lair has drifted the scouts bring us news that foot soldiers have hid themselves in a barrow, hoping that their scents will be shrouded by the dead. Also, we doubt that the lost valley of the Akana can be of any more use. I recommend that we focus our strength in a more vital region as the days grow colder. And I guess that's it. Wonder who they're talking to. Always rad to hear more about the Akana. Mm -hmm. I'm drawing a blank on who they're... Uh, Majora's Mask. That's right. Okay. It's the it's the canyon uh, region of Majora's Mask. Yes, that's right. Uh, you you end up. Ah. We need light essence and put light essence. Okay. So I think I put all those away in my ship. So we might have to come back for that. That's fine. Uh, yeah, they're the you end up talking to them. They're the the Stalfos of um. Of Majora's Mask. Ah. This table seems to be enchanted with some form of alteration magic. It is able to transform items in unusual ways. Strangely, I cannot seem to understand how to use this, the instrument unless I have an object in my possession that can be changed. What do you... What do you... Bet? Yay! Okay, so... This, in particular, changes uh, weapon type. So, we have heavy armor golden gauntlets right now. Yes. Um, we can make them light armor. Let's do that. Because everything else I think we have is, is light armor. Yeah. Um, and what else do we have? We can change the magic camera. And then, I think... Can we... Eh? I think we can basically buff it. To... Maybe? I think we did it. Anyway. We can change the magic hammer. Oh, like. yeah. Into something... Like, into a mace, which is one-handed. Okay. And then we can make this a light on our shield. If we eh. Can. We're not really using shields. Yeah. Shields are for cowards. Let me double check, I think. Probably need to re-equip. So these are light armor. I think we did buff it a little bit, too. So, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, okay, let's take a look at our weapons. What kind of weapons do we want to do? Uh, well, we have the magic hammer now. We do. Do we just want to do that? Rar. Sure. Magic Hammer and Bane of Arthropods. Yeah. Oops, that's not cool that. what I wanted. Huh, P brings up my magic spell list. Cool, I did not know that. Or if I did at one point, I have forgotten it. Clearly. Fair. Okay, so let's just... Uh... Oh. Oh, hey! It's him. Where it's the dude! Hi, Mr. Dude! Oh, I've got a hammer to show you. Oh, and <laughs> I was gonna throw my hammer. Can't touch this. Do 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 do. Hey, let's get some weird bog water and fill up. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Why? Every time I take like a two-day break, I forget what I'm doing entirely with this game. Um, okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. Every babe, babe, babe. Everything's fine. That's oh. fine. Empty bottles. That should be enough. Okay. Oh. Hello. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay. In the mid and dark. Ooh. Yeah. It's got like a nice little stress crown of, of, of finger bones. <laughs> oh my god. It's... Yes. He does. That is... For the... Dark Brotherhood? Okay. I think? <sighs> I mean, they seem edgy enough to pull that off. Right. It's been a really long, like, long, like, long-ass time since I've done the Dark Brotherhood quest, so I'm a little confused on the ins and outs of that. 
But I'm pretty sure that's Dark Brotherhood. I think that's like a denoting like if you are part of the Dark Brotherhood, like you're, you're given like an item or something or whatever, and you can make those doors open up because those are like sealed exits or something. Okay. I think. Um, like I said, it's been a while. Sure. Let's just just steal some more stuff. Cooked carrots. Oh. Hey. I was doing stuff. Was rude. Reading. Just my magic hammer. Skeletons take extra damage from bludgeoning. Yes, they do. This is why um, if you make a monk character and then if your boyfriend runs a D&D &D game and then puts you in a barrel full of skeletons, it's very fun. Yeah. No, uh, no. I kept breaking character and cackling because my monk was supposed to be like all reserved and bullshit, but it was, it was a little too hard. Not Honestly, to it is very satisfying to punch a skeleton once and just send a pile of bones scattering. Away. <laughs> yes. I think even Chevra would have been like... It's a little, yeah. it's, it's, it's a little it's, cartoonishly satisfying. Yes, it's and also cathartic for the life she had led, like that previous... Uh, oh, high five. Oh. Well, here we're starting, I guess... I didn't know there know, was a, didn't know there was the, a Taz balance uh, mod. Right, like Adventure Zone. <laughs> high five. Nothing. Uh, uh, high five mod must not be installed yeah, correctly. No, oh, let's try it. Let's... Let's high five this. High five. Nope. High five. <laughs> high five. <laughs> I want to high five the Phoenix Bar Gauntlet. Oh. Uh, okay. Darn railroad campaign. I know. <laughs> we have fun there though, don't we? Well, there's a key. Incident report. Oh boy. <laughs> Ray, the missing students were found in the minute <laughs> this morning, dead as expected. Well, none of us bothered keeping it to take life charts at this point. All right, hold okay, on. Okay, well, I, I, just I, have guess. A, I just have a critique. This is an incident report. You're not supposed to use passive language. You're supposed right. to be active, very, in, like, you're supposed to note the time and date. Come on. Right, also dead as expected. You you're, were just like, guess some suckers are dead so we can take our time. You're, yeah, you're... you're you're not, you're going to get, like, your boss is going to have a talking to you about oh this Oh, my, report. yeah, this is, this is so not good. Anyway, the bodies were found together, each suffering the same deformities, peeled and bubbling skin on the arms and face. Yikes. Conjurer's burns, a conjurer's burn, as it's commonly referred around the college. There's little doubt that they were attempting a summoning ritual well beyond the capabilities. See, this is why it's important to, like, you know, it's not just moving at your own pace. It's like going ahead and, and following the lesson plan. Yeah. You know, don't just, just start mixing chemicals together if you're into chemistry. And don't just start summoning demons if you're, like, trying to learn how to do conjuring stuff. The relic nearby put any doubt in, in this theory to test. To, blah, my God, I cannot read. The relic nearby put any doubt in this theory to rest. I admit that I've never seen one like it. A large segmented sculpture of a gauntlet, the Datred Sigil, whatever that is, emblazoned upon the palm. Attempts to move it were in vain. I must show it to Archmage Setoff, that's not the Archmage, during his upcoming visit. Perhaps he will know more. How old is this? Um, because that's not the Archmage right now. Anyway, uh, while we couldn't move the relic, I was able to pry four rings from it. Ah, I'm sure there's a connection between them and the ritual the students were attempting. I'll store these in the Arcanium until we can consult uh, with a Conjuration Master to learn more. Clearly that uh, Daedric Sigil means high five. Yeah, it's high five. I want to high five it. So, okay, four rings, my guess is... Once you put them all on yeah, correctly, index finger, you'll get to high five. finger, little finger... No thumb ring. Middle finger. Okay. So no thumb ring. Yeah, he's not cool enough for a thumb ring. Oh. Very shiny. Yeah. It's a goat! Uh, greatest of all time! <laughs> I'll take that. One. Someone was doing a ritual. Yeah, they absolutely were. Come here, goat. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm still holding on to it like a goat. Okay. Oh, there's oh. money. Blood money. Is that a salt pile? Yeah. It is. Okay. Extra blood. Extra blood. Good. Get some iron in that salt. Mm-hmm. Bloody salt. Is that like garlic salt? You know? You just pull blood in there. Some uh, how do you think garlic salt is made? Uh, like, 
you put, I don't know, you put garlic in a tub of salt and let it just absorb? Alright, right? but not blood. Well, yeah, <laughs> I just wanted just to be sure. Like you can make bloody salt the same way you make garlic salt. Just wanted whatever. to be sure. Oh my god. A spider! He's so happy. He's such a happy boy. Ugh, what am I pressing? Oh, it's a loot. Oh, a loot on top of a bunch of potatoes. The loot was hiding the true loot. <laughs> Potato loot. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, I guess I'm taking that too now. <laughs> That's worth something. That's, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. Eh. Baby spider. B bigger baby spider. Weird here. that tarantulas are the enemies in here, because I don't think tarantulas build webs like this. No, they're jumping creatures. And I think they just do it for egg sacs. Yeah. I have a... Trailers are the reason that I have a fear of spiders, I'm like pretty sure. I think I've told you this story before, but I haven't told you. So, the you, the audience of the YouTubes of which I am speaking to right now. Oh. Yeah, so um, when my mom was pregnant with me, uh, for a time they were in Texas, um, I don't, living there or visiting family or whatever. I mean, that's the first mistake, is going to Texas. I mean, a little bit, yeah. And um, she was, like, sunbathing, you know, for reasons. And um, and I don't know if you know this, but Texas is full of tarantulas. And so she was sunbathing with her big old pregnant belly with me inside of it. And she woke up because she felt something really weird and scratchy on her belly. And there were tarantulas on her pregnant belly. Mm -hmm. Like, just staring her in the face. And, uh, and I'm just saying, I got my fear of spiders from that in the womb. Because, because, oh no. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I, if that, oh, I would die. I would absolutely die if that was me. Yeah. Oh my god. Tarantulas, tarantulas are neat, but I, mm. I wouldn't want one on me. Mm. <laughs> How am I going? Good question. Okay. All right. All right. Everything's fine. So that's the college. That's the bridge. So we have to find a way back up there. All right, well, um, uh, maybe I'll do that in between episodes, but, um, we did a little, we did a little work. We found some, we found some zelda e bits and we wandered around a whole bunch. True. You know? Yeah. Like, I think, I think, uh, I think that's good. So, anyway, I'm gonna go get on Flatland before I officially save it. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah. Until next time. Catch you later. Bye.